Since this venerable stadium was erected in the Pennsylvania Hills, it has been the home to toughness, to passion, to winning. Welcome to Happy Valley and Beaver Stadium, home to the Penn State Nittany Lions. This matchup today, part of the lifeblood of the sport. A rivalry game where the results will be remembered for a lifetime. As we'll see the number two team in the country, the Ohio State Buckeyes taking on the seventh-ranked team in the land, the Penn State Nittany Lions. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. The Buckeyes will boot it away to start the game. He'll start the return inside his five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. So the Penn State Nittany Lions offense will get the first crack at it here. There are always butterflies to start a game, but when you have a rivalry like this, the adrenaline is pumping on overdrive, guys. They aren't all the same. We say that, but we know differently. The blood is boiling. The temperature is hot. Jesse, you want this week more than most. Yeah, and David, we played in these games before. Everything just seems to be heightened, right? The game seems to be moving faster. The crowd noise feels louder. Your composure will be tested early in a game like this. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Looking for room, it's Singleton. Yeah, it's a bit of a surge, and he's knocked down after picking up three to the 26. The biggest lie college football coaches tell is nameless, faceless opponent. David, game like this, you know their name, and you know their face. You know them well, and it does mean just a little bit more because it's bragging rights. Like, the rivalries matter so much. All throughout the year, all the fans talking about this game in particular, that's why it means... Oh, he's going to try to hit him deep. And trying to put points on the board on third down, now they're staring at fourth down. DB does an outstanding job here on the deep pass, locating the football, no P.I., able to swat it away, pass incomplete. The Nittany Lions will try to pin them back with the punt. They'll have to punt for the first time this afternoon. He's got great speed. He'll get it up to about the 44-yard line before they slam the brakes on him. The Buckeyes offense taking the field. First chance we have to see them today. And a big key as this game unfolds is just how aggressive will he be throwing the football in a lockdown corner like that. Yeah, and when you're an elite quarterback, you think you can do whatever you want to do. And you think you can make the right decisions. I'm interested to see how much he'll test that quarterback on the other side. You know, there's a saying, there's no defense for a perfect pass. But he's got to be extra careful and sharp when he's throwing that guy's way. This crowd going to try to make life miserable for these guys. Running back searching for a hole. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. They have relished this tight victory since the last time these two got together, Paula. Guys, this winning is beautiful. And when you beat your rival and you get those bragging rights, Palmer, it is a glorious thing for a whole year and sometimes longer. Well, that's the best thing about rivalry games like this. For the winning team, whoever pulls this one out here today, their fans are going to be bragging about... Fires into traffic and intercepted. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. Not the start this kid was looking for. Very first pass of the day gets picked off. This is a defense that's got a lot of ball hawks in the back end, and he's got to be real careful with his eyes, not telegraph throws like he did right there. He's going to have to settle in. The Nittany Lions going back to work on offense now. They had to punt it away on their last possession, but man, what great field position this time. I mean, this is awesome. Like, last possession didn't go great. Now you're set up in an opportunity to get some points, start thinking about what plays I like, Jesse, as I cross the 50. There are a lot of offensive coordinators out there, David, and in this position, they like to take a shot right away and try and capitalize on this field position. That last completion sets him up on second down. 
from the gun. He leaves it with the bat. And the defense makes the stop after a minimal game. I like feeding my guy. I like getting my running back touches, feeding the ball so he can break some of those big runs. But I'm also okay with these little ones. Set the tone, stay balanced. Let's see if they keep it on the ground here on third down. Looking to pass. It's Aller. Throws to the wideout. And they'll miss the connection here on third down. Nice job in coverage on that third and short. Defensively taking all the throws and options away for the quarterback. And now we're setting up fourth down. The Nittany Lions will call on their punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. And the punt hits at the six, and they can't down it, and it'll be a touchback. The Buckeyes roll that offense back out there. Boy, they hope this next drive is more productive after throwing a pick last time, Jesse. Yeah, and the coaches did a good job on the sideline there, just talking to the young quarterback and making sure he's able to turn the page, calm him down, to go out and refocus this drive. Yeah, and some people do that better than others, but you got to show some trust in him, maybe get the ground game going, help around him a little bit with this system. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Off play action. Got out of trouble and throws. And he really needed to hold on to that one, but it was not loose, and third down is coming. Looked like the offense had a chance for a big play there, but the running back just could not reel that ball in. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Wide open downfield. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. We asked earlier this week, who's your favorite receiver? And of course he said the open one, but we know who he really wants to go to on third down. The best one. <laughs> I mean, I think the open one, obviously the politically correct answer, but you want to find the guy that you got that great chemistry with. You know exactly where he's going to be. You got that bond and that trust. Pass the sticks and still on his feet. And they drag him down, but not before he picks up the first down. Well, this is one of the fastest quarterbacks in college football, and that's why the option's a good idea, because if he can get out in space and he has a chance to get downfield, he is really difficult to tackle, and he's very difficult to catch, as you saw in that last play, getting a first down. Quarterback on the keeper. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. Well, the QB decided to keep it on that one. And listen, if you had his athleticism, you'd want to keep it, too. Almost every time they run these types of option plays. But he's just going to have to do a good job of understanding when to hand it off, when to pitch it, and try to keep this defense on their heels and read his keys. He's got a lot of talent. Just got to make sure he's making the right decisions moving forward. Got it in stride inside the 20. And he'll take it in and house it. Touchdown, Buckeyes. They can use this first score to sort of set the tone, guys, in this rivalry matchup. Man, doesn't this feel good to come out, score early, get the crowd involved, get the nerves out of the way, Palmer, when you're playing in a big rivalry game? Yeah, and I feel like momentum is always a big thing in any game, but in rivalry games, it's that much more important because everybody is going to feed off that first score now. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point makes it 7-0. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And they finished it with an explosive play in the passing game, scoring from 47 yards out. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Penn State sends the offense back onto the field. The give to the single back. Stacked up after gaining a couple to the 23. I'll tell you, this is a running back who's very, very dangerous, and the defense did a good job getting him down there. But they got to do a great job gang tackling because this is a guy that can break tackles and turn those types of plays into home runs. After picking up a couple at second and eight. 
using his legs. It's Singleton. Maybe picked up a couple. He's down at the 24. Third down after the run. Back to pass. It's Aller. Finds his tight end. And he's going to be just short of the first down. It's going to bring up a decision for this coach. They were really hopeful he could make a guy or two miss and pick up the first down, but he comes up a little short. Yeah, and it's great defense. It's defense understanding where the sticks are, not missing tackles, getting the guy on the ground quickly. Really nice job by the defense understanding the situation. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. He gets a block. The solid return there offsets some of the punt yardage and really sets up this offense nicely. Here comes the Ohio State offense onto the field. Out of the gun, the give to the back. They can rely on this guy to pick up solid yardage when they need it, and he's out to the 43. All right, great little run there. Listen, it wasn't phenomenal. He didn't get a first down, but what does it do? Now it makes second down easier. The play caller looking at his sheet going, all right, I can throw it, I can run it. Still in a great position. Way to stay ahead of the chains. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Creating some space, getting just enough good blocking, and they've got it up to the 47-yard line. Just a simple power play. Again, not sexy. Run the ball up the middle. Physicality, offensive line gets to assert themselves, run block what they love to do. This pays dividends down the road in the fourth quarter. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. They'll try to run for it. They were all over him, nowhere to go as that third down play turned into a disaster. And when you play defensive end, it's all about getting off the football. You can tell, gets off the football really fast, gets in the backfield, gets the running back before he knows what hit him. What a play by the defensive end. The Buckeyes will punt it away on fourth down. They'll get downfield and make the tackle right at the 16-yard line. The Nittany Lions going back to work on offense now. Their drive chart is starting to look a little monotonous. Punt, 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 David. And their defense is starting to get a little frustrated, too. They just keep putting me back on the field, possession after possession. Jesse, this offense needs to get their heads out of there. You know what? The punter's on the sideline with the oxygen mask right now. He's been playing so much. He's not used to this. This offense, they just got to stay on the field. They've got to put a drive together and get some balance going, running and throwing the ball. Dropping back, it's Aller. Just gets rid of it to the running back underneath. Stopped after making the catch. Sometimes it's not about a fancy play design. It's about just getting him the ball and letting him play. Especially nowadays with running backs being so good out of the backfield. You know they're going to catch it, and there's so many ways to use them. But exactly, get it to him, let him break tackles, let him make plays. Easy decision. Oh, they really could have used that catch. Their physical pass defense, it brings up a fourth down. Defense did a great job. Third and short on the opponent's side of the field. They're expecting quick throw. Everybody, they dug their heel on the ground. They're able to break on the ball, force the incompletion. And the Nittany Lions will punt this one away. He's getting a lot of... They got two of them blocked it. Line gets set, first down. A run for the quarterback. Pulled down at the 10-yard line, and this punt block unit has a lot to celebrate after that one. Well, guys, Ohio State has the lead here. And we've come to the end of the first as we take a moment to check out the stats so far. They are lined up and ready to go and get things started here in the second. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. On the move, it's Judkins. He steps and powers and works his way. They finally get him down at the two. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If 
you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run, then you open it up for the pass. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. Here they're trying to get it to the edge. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. And you got to get locked in in the red zone. A lot of defense coordinators will tell you, we'll give up yards, but we got to understand what we're trying to get accomplished. Great job down here near the goal line. This defense bowing their neck up and getting a big stop. And on fourth down, they'll try to put three on the board. From the left hash, this one shouldn't be too much trouble. Oh, and the attempt is no good. And the margin is still seven after the miss, guys. Well, that's one the kicker would like to have back. That's a kick he should be making in his sleep. Penn State sends the offense back onto the field. They'll snap it from the 20 for the opening play of this drive. They'll put the tight end in motion. Leaves it with the back. On the move at the 30. That's the kind of play that can really get you going as they get it out to the 36. And the Nittany Lions took those plain headgears, got their blocks, and picked up the first down. Yeah, and those headgears are a staple, aren't they, of college football? I know exactly what you're talking about, those beautiful helmets. They don't change very much, very traditional. Penn State keeps it simple. Being traditional, running the football. They're going to ride this running back. And a really nice run and pick up there before the defense avoided disaster and stopped the really big play. And that is exactly why you stick to running the football. Haven't had a lot of success, but boom, you pop one, right? That's what you got to do. You got, you cannot become one-dimensional and just throw the football every down. Love the offense, stick into the run. Nice job getting the first down. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. You know, runs like this oftentimes are like a boxer in a boxing match. Obviously, it's not a knockout punch, but these are body blows. And as the game goes on, these small gains are going to turn into longer runs. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Going to the running game. And you can forget running in the middle against this defense. Great job by the defense. Everybody firing off the ball, hitting their guys, holding their gaps, running to the football, nowhere to go. They've got the ball at midfield, but they're facing a third and long. Off the bootleg, wants to toss it. And he just throws it away. That is not what you're looking for on third down. Fourth down coming up. And offensively, we know it's hard throwing the ball in third and long situations because the defense can play big zone coverages. They got a lot of guys with their eyes on you. So the QB had no shot there. Nobody open. Nice job not forcing it, not risking a turnover, just throwing it away. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. The Buckeyes roll that offense back out there. You want to talk about taking the wind out of your sails. Drive the ball down the field and miss the field goal, David. You know what? Don't leave it up to kickers. Execute better offensively. I think you move the ball nice. You got to keep that in mind. But Palmer, I think you got to stay aggressive and don't settle for field goals. Yeah, because you got to know there's just no margin for error right now. You just have got to be able to execute at a higher level. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. He'll pull it on the read. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. Yeah, and it's a nice job by this defense. Understand, listen, that QB is a threat. And they're going to run all kinds of options. He's going to run the football. They were dialed in and got that sucker to the ground. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. Looking for a man. It's Howard. He finds his man. 
And he runs through one tackle and picks up a few. That's why you never assume the first guy's going to make the tackle and you have to keep running to the football. Man, it's something you highlight every single week in defensive meeting. Don't assume somebody's going to make it. Don't assume somebody's going to make it. Take the correct angle. Nice job. First guy misses. Second guy gets him on the ground, forces the fourth down, throws that fist up in the air. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. The Nittany Lions going back to work on offense now. They'll throw it on first down. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. Not many receivers like to get hit. They just don't, okay? They're prima donnas. That's what they are. That's who they are. Nice job by the defender. You could tell he was catching the football. He was going to put a hit on him to make sure he had to think about something later, and you could see the ball pop out and fall to the ground. The give on the inside. Pretty good effort on that one to work his way up to the 42. I like this guy as a running back because he can run between the tackles and he can also go outside. He can really do it all. Ball is at the 42-yard line, close to four-down territory. Here's third and short. From the gun, wants to pass. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. This is a point where you just got to be able to focus. And the critical down and distances in this game, like that third down right there, when it's a good throw, you got to make the catch. You've got to be able to make that play. The Nittany Lions will line up to punt it away. And don't forget, he did have one blocked earlier. He'll call for the fair catch here. Here comes the Ohio State offense onto the field. They missed an opportunity to extend this lead the last time they had it, Jesse. Yeah, they got to be able to regain that momentum, right? Go back to what was working earlier on in this one. And, David, to me, that starts with being the more physical team. No, I definitely agree. Being the more physical team, but understanding the situation of the game. You're still winning. You got the football back. Now put a nice drive together and execute. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Wide out in motion. Wants to throw. It's Howard. Makes the grab on the left. Tackled immediately after the catch. Nice completion here to this wide receiver. And you're going to see this receiver line up in different spots all over the field all game long. Defense has got to keep their eye on where this guy is because they know he's a big part of this offense's success. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Off the bootleg, wants to throw it. Caught in the backfield, it's Tate. One of the things I love about this defense is they just have such great awareness, and they're always communicating. They understood the down and distance. They knew exactly what they needed to do to make the tackle to force the punt. That is so well done. And the Buckeyes will send out the punt unit. No return coming here. Fair catch is signal for and made just shy of the 30. Penn State sends the offense back onto the field. These little gains can start to add up as he gets it up to the 34. And now on second down for this offense. Keeping it on the ground with the running back. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play, and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we have ourselves a ball game, and they have a chance to take the lead here before the half. The offense lines up at the 41 with a first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. Pressure coming. And they got him for the sack. Offensive linemen are offensive linemen for a reason. They're not as fast as those guys on the edge. And you can see that defensive end came screaming off the edge, 
got to the quarterback before that O-lineman could do anything about it. Nice job of that defensive end. Scoop them sacks, baby. Quick tempo, no huddle offense. Second down, clock's running. Back to throw, it's Allard. Pocket starts to collapse. And here comes the pressure, and there he goes down again. The defense going to stop the clock with a timeout. They want to make sure they have everybody on the same page. And we might as well state the obvious. First and second down didn't work out. Third and very long. On the ground, it's Singleton. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. The Nittany Lions will bring the punt team onto the field. Now, don't forget, and I'm sure he hasn't, he had one blocked earlier. No return coming here as he signals for the fair catch and makes it right around the 30-yard line. The Buckeyes roll that offense back out there. Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back to your playmakers, Reese. I think it's finding the guys that have been working for you earlier on in this game and getting them the football. Yeah, and there's obviously no need to panic. I mean, think about it. You got the lead. You got the football. You got to be smart with the football. Make your plays. Put a good drive together here. A new set of downs after the completion. He's going to pass. Unloads to the wideout. He makes a catch. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. It is so good for an offense early in the game to get in a rhythm and to start stringing first downs together. It makes the game really easy and puts that defense in a situation where they're starting to get tired. They want to sub. They want to get other guys in the field. Stringing first downs together like this makes it hard to defend. Good timing on the quick out. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. How many first downs is that just on this drive? We're going to have to get the training staff to to give some IVs and get some bananas, and we better stay hydrated because at this rate, the defense is going to play way too many snaps. They'll throw it on first down. Makes the catch. He gets it in. Touchdown, Ohio State. One of the reasons this offense is so exciting to watch, they've got guys that are dangerous after the catch. If this quarterback gets through his progression, David, he hits you in stride, these guys will take it to the house. Man, it's your job to do the rest, right? You hit me in stride where I don't have to stop running. I don't have to break down. It makes it so easy. The connection between quarterback, wide receiver, you can tell this is a good one, and that's why they got six on that play. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they top it off with a 31-yard toss for six. They got the late touchdown on the board, now about to kick it away and hoping the defense can keep them from answering. On the move from inside is five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Nittany Lions going back to work on offense now. Running out of time here in the first half, and they do have a chance to make this a one-possession game. And so you got to locate your best players and get them the football on this drive. You're down in the game. There's obviously a lot of football left, David, but on this drive, in this two-minute situation, best players got to touch the ball. And this could get into pressing mode, right? Like you go into the half, down a couple of scores, it starts to, the pressure really, really mounts. Good opportunity to take some of that pressure off, get some momentum, energize this squad going into halftime. To the air on first down. Got it in the middle, it's Saunders. Stop is made at the 44, but it's a 15-yard gain and a first down. The Nittany Lions come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Comes out throwing on first down. That's caught, it's Singleton. Crosses the 30, he's got a lane. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. And that's why this guy is such a weapon in this offense, because you don't have to throw it far downfield. Just get the ball in his hands. He catches it close to the line of scrimmage. But look what he was able to do after the catch. He gets an explosive play for this offense.
just on the edge of the red zone. First and 10 from the 21. Looking for a man. It's Aller. Fires to the tight end. He is down at the one. A terrific run after the throw and catch. And man, this quarterback is on fire this drive. They've run five plays offensively. He's thrown it all five times. He's five for five. And now he has him down here on the goal line. Why not go six for six with a tutty? Time dwindling away as they try to put points on the board right before the half. From the gun. Fires to the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Penn State. And I tell you what, that passing touchdown, man, that should spark this whole team. Like, the comeback is more than on now. Like, they got the touchdown. They cut into the lead. You, you want to get a stop and go into the half, get all the juices, all the excitement, and be like, listen, the passing game's rolling. We got this. The comeback's in full effect. Getting set for the point after. And after the extra point, they've cut the lead in half, down 14-7. So that scoring drive took only six plays. It was capped off by a one-yard touchdown pass. The kickoff unit about to go to work. Here's the return from inside his tent. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. So the offense doesn't want to take a chance here. They'll just come out and take a knee and wrap up the half. We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Fellas, what an environment there today. All the animosity and flat-out hatred that comes with a good old-fashioned rivalry game on display in that first half. And there is no better place to start this halftime than by reviewing how this wideout has been a one-man wrecking crew. The kid's been everywhere. And I love how he's willing to go across the middle, but that he also has the Jets to burn these DBs on the deep ball. If this defense wants to actually come back in this one, they better hide his cleats. That said, let's get back to the field and our guys in the booth to see who comes out on top of this rivalry contest. And he's gonna try to return this one. That gamble did not pay off as they bring him down at the 12-yard line. Here comes the Ohio State offense onto the field. They got plenty done through the air in the first half, and we'll see if they even need to look for balance as we start the third quarter. Well, and I, I think defensively, you understand, like, the running game isn't a big part of the plan. I wonder how they adjust and play more coverage to this pass-happy offense. Yeah, so you're going to have to be ready if you're a quarterback, then. You're probably going to see some different coverages. You might see a little bit more blitz in the second half as well, so you have to know where your answers are. To the air, it's Howard. Got it set up on the outside. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. I'll tell you what, if you want to be overzealous and you want to be a blitzer all the time, I like running the screen right behind him. Did a great job throwing the screen. Almost broke this one for a long game, but it just keeps the defense a little bit more honest if you want to start bringing a lot of pressure. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Tackle is made after the first down. And most importantly, they got the first. They've been getting pushed around up front this game and haven't created a lot of lanes to run the football, but you needed it. You needed that first down. You needed to get the sticks moving. You need to run some clocks. So good job by the offense finding a little bit of space to get the first down. On first down from their own 22. He'll do it himself. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. You know, I really like this QB running the football because I know he's got a lot of speed, but he's not the biggest guy in the world. So he's not going to be able to break a lot of tackles. You've really got to do a good job of trying to scheme ways to get him out in more space. Kept it on the ground on first down. Now back to the line. On second down, was to throw. Got it in the middle. It's Abuka. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. 
How nice is it in this offense to have your best receiver playing in the slot? You're matching him up against linebackers, against safeties, or nickel corners. Nickel corners are oftentimes the defense's third best cornerback. This guy is virtually uncoverable. They'll stick to the ground looking for the marker. And with that effort, they pick up a fresh set of downs. They have it at the 34-yard line. And I just love when guys know exactly where the sticks are. You could tell, ran with purpose, finished through the sticks, and got just enough for the first half. And a nice job up front, too, right? Good communication. Everybody knew where they had to go. Hat on a hat, work the double teams, and get some push. They're going to go right back to him on first down. Pretty good effort on that one to work his way up to the 42. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. He'll keep it himself. The Buckeyes pick up the first down. This is an offense that has a chance to be one of the better rushing attacks in the country at the end of the year because of the athleticism of this quarterback. You're going to see this guy do damage with his legs this year. The Buckeyes will snap it on first and ten. Reading the option, it's Howard. You know, this zone replay is something they rep over and over and over in practice. This guy can run it and execute it in his sleep. Good decision there keeping the football. They'll go to work on second down after doing damage on the ground. They'll see if they can find some running room on the right here. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. This offense has to get this guy the ball in as many ways as possible. He showed you all of his tools on that last play. It's first and 10 for this offense from the 42. He wants to throw. That's reeled in, it's Smith. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down mark. And I love when my quarterback sees zone and knows exactly where to go with the football. Sees the wide receiver running the drag route, knows when to throw it, pulls the trigger for the easy completion. This defense just can't get off the field. The offense unstoppable. And off from the shotgun. Shakes off the defender. Able to squeeze out a couple on the play. It's down at the 35. on third down they'll try to power their way ahead just outside the red zone as they pick up the first down they'll spot it at the 22 in halftime in this locker room there's a lot of positive things to talk about you got the lead but you know what else will be positive palmer get the running game going early in this second half you're absolutely right here and i think this coaching staff is going to try to put this game on the offensive line a little bit let these guys take this thing over be physical and push this defense around Grabbed over the middle. It's Henderson. You want to talk about building a drive around a guy. First on the ground and now using him in the passing game. And you get so much bang for your buck because you can split him out wide. You can fake it to him and throw it. This is the guy that really stretches the field and makes you decide how you want to defend him. A linebacker, a safety, whatever it is, it's usually not good enough when he's receiving the ball out of the backfield. Come going for it all. Can't make the grab as he was going for six right there. And how nice is it to have the home crowd going absolutely bananas? Communication is harder. The, the snapping the football, everybody being on time. Man, this crowd really affecting the football game. This crowd knows this defense needs them right now. Scanning the field, it's Howard. Pass rush gets there, gets home, gets him down at the 23. And a great job by the defense, dropping in zone coverage, all eyes on the quarterback, taking away the options, and then the, finally the pass rush gets home, gets him on the ground. Mm -hmm. 
Now on fourth down, here comes the field goal team. The holder's going to line it up right at the 30. This will be a 40-yard field goal attempt. It is perfect. And now the lead is extended a little further. So after the last drive ended with a field goal, the kickoff team out there to send it away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He just about popped that one for a long one, but as it is, he gives his team a lot of momentum with a solid return. up there as they have it out to the 44 with the first down. The Nittany Lions will hustle to the line. The give from the gun. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. Small gain, I know, but again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass, make him onto the run game. you got to do a lot of this. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Hand off to the lone back. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. And this offense just can't afford not to get the first down here. Already trailing big, and the clock is not their friend. To the ground to try to pick up the first. And they did not let him reach the line to gain. It'll bring up a decision here. And the Nittany Lions line up to punt it away. And don't forget, he did have one blocked earlier. Signal goes into the air, and he makes the fair catch at the 10. Here comes the offense on first down. Power football with the run. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And you want to talk about his favorite receiver, it might be everybody, based on the number of guys getting touches and a chance to show off their hands in the passing game. One more period to go to see who can make the winning plays and come home with the victory. Listen to this crowd just shaking the girders of this place trying to help their defense. Pulls it on the bootleg fake. Caught behind the line. It's Smith. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field, too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second and five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yarded situations. Grab behind the line. It's Tate. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. I love this defense's ability to fight off blocks and rally to the football. They do such a great job pursuing that wide receiver screen to only allow a minimal gain and no first down. And the Buckeyes send out the punt unit. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. Slips through the line. Oh, he gave him the limp leg. 
That's a perfect example of not settling for a fair catch. Pick up whatever yardage you can and help out the offense. Leaves it with the running back. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Back to throw. It's Aller. Finds a soft spot in the middle. Stop is made at the 36, but he picked up 10 on that one and has a fresh set of downs. Well, they execute the in route. Now, how about the arm strength by the QB? That was an absolute bullet on that completion. Now from the 36-yard line, it's first and 10. Quarterback on the keeper. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. As a defensive guy now, you're always zoomed in on the quarterback. I mean, these guys, they're, whether they're throwing the football or running it, at least they have the football in their hands every time. You know where they're going to be. You focus in the defense, locked and loaded, understand what they were trying to accomplish, doing a good job getting to the quarterback, and then make those physical hits count. Finish those, finish those tackles with aggressive hits. Make that quarterback feel you for a whole length of a game. You just get the feeling this defense is going to make it hard on them, right? They've got the lead. It's late, and they're going to try to tackle everybody inbounds. Offense is going to have to really work for this and be smart. you got to attack the sidelines. you got to throw first downs. you got to keep this thing moving vertically down the field. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. Just outside the red zone. If they pick up the first down, they'll spot it at the 22. And they just kind of sneak that one in there as a defensive guy, third and five plus. I'm thinking pass. They were thinking pass, Palmer, and they slipped the run in. And it's so nice then to have this guy at running back too, right? Because you could throw it to him on third down or hand it off. And he's got the vision and the athleticism to go pick up that first, keep the drive going. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Yeah, and this offense has to find a way to run the football. They, they got to get more creative. Whatever that looks like for this offense, something to jumpstart them because nothing really going on the ground. Yeah, defensively, though, you got to give them credit, too, because they knew that physically they were going to try to be challenged up front. That was a big M.O. for this offense coming into it. But the defense, they've risen to the occasion. Their front seven has dominated this entire game. Caught in the backfield, it's Fleming. And he is run out of bounds as they go backwards there and just avoided the contact. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Got it, looking for the first down. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. I really like this slot receiver because of his shiftiness, and you see that on his route run. Really, really nice job creating separation for his QB. So here we are on fourth down, and this field goal kicker is going to face all the pressure in the world. And the kicker delivers the three ball to finish off the drive. kickoff unit ready to go on the run from inside his own five nice job by the kickoff team everybody stayed in their lanes and they'll stop him at the 16 the Buckeyes roll that offense back out there out of the shotgun they go to the ground and they try the middle of this defense and that is not happening that back had absolutely nowhere to run the football. Actually, is he counting? I think he's counting to make sure there's only 11 guys on defense. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and 10. Give to the back. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. 
Defense doing their job, getting that last stop, and now third in California. Not a lot of play calls to convert this, so defensively, let's get off the field now. The clock's running. We need to give it back to our offense with as much time as possible. The roar of the crowd trying to fuel this defense to keep them pinned in their own end. He's going to let one fly down the middle. Snags it down the right side. And he's brought down after a huge completion. Nice job executing the four-minute offense. You know, they practice this throughout the week, having a lead late in the game, running plays to just get enough to get first downs to stay on the field, and they are executing this four-minute offense to perfection. The Buckeyes want to pick up the tempo. Looking to go up top on first down. Quickly complete. Put it right on him. Sweet play. Good pick up, and they'll move the change with the first down. I love an offense that wants to stay aggressive. Even when you've got the lead late in a game like this, right, you still try to find your playmakers and get them the ball in space, and that is exactly what this offense is doing. The Buckeyes have their offense in high gear. They'll run the ball. The clock is on their side. And a really short game before he gets a whole bunch of company from the defense. Well, you got to give this offense a ton of credit because normally they've got the lead because of this running back. Today, it's actually despite him. They really haven't gotten the production out of him that they expect week in, week out. you got to give the defense credit for that. But other guys on offense have been able to step up enough to make the plays necessary to give them the lead. They'll be perfectly content to go right back to the ground here on second and eight. From the gun, running back gets to give. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Big third down as the crowd gets behind this defense. Calls his own number. He's brought down, but not before they pick up the big first down. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. And the Buckeyes come to the line with a new set of downs. Motion from the offense. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Nice, solid form tackle from this sophomore. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. They'll go right back to the run. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And that's exactly what you would expect from this offense. Listen, when you're in that one to two minute range and you've got the football and you got a lead, it's smash mouth. It's keep that clock running. It's ground game. So interesting now on this third down what they do next, but we got to keep that clock moving. From the shotgun now, here's an inside gift. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. And now on fourth down, they will put it on the shoulders of the kicker to save them with his foot. He splits the uprights and puts three on the board. And they'll push that lead out a little further. First order of business here, don't give up a big return, then the defense just has to keep them out of the end zone. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. 
Looking for a productive play on first down. He's going to pass. They're bringing heat. Not much of a chance there. He just had to get rid of it to avoid the sack. After the incompletion, it's second down. Back to throw, it's Aller. Didn't have much of a choice there but to get rid of it. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Here's the snap, itching to fire downfield. Couldn't find a man and just had to throw it away to avoid a negative play. And this is why you don't want to get in these situations. Third and long, defense knows it's pass. They're playing pass, playing deep. QB has nowhere to go with the football, so he just throws it away. And here we go. Final play of the game right here. On fourth down, they'll try to throw it. He's going up top here late in the game. A sensational grab down the field there as they try to at least put a positive spin on the end of this game.